everybody happy Friday it's now the weekend practically for for me anyways um, it is a gorgeous day it's very mild we woke up this morning and had a bit of a you know marine layer some fog, early clouds and that's just now burning off so sorry for the light it's very bright out here um, a lot of reflection from the uh, alleyway uh, into the garage here but anyhow uh, we have some projects to be done here is a recent addition. This here is, as you can see, is a very dirty lantern. This is a uh, number one, Little Defiance, made by Embury. You just heard the refrigerator turn off. Anyways, um, this thing, uh, it's it's dirty. And I think it's just mostly just surface rust. And the, the filler cap is stuck. Um, it came with this Dietz Globe. And they, they sold this lantern under the Little Wizard name. Uh, because, uh, you know, they just found it in their grandfather's basement, so they say. And they don't know anything about lanterns except that it's old. And they just read the globe. A lot of people do read just the globe, and they think the name of the lantern or the manufacturer is on the globe. However, it's on the lantern. Uh, globes are interchangeable. That doesn't always guarantee anything. Uh, but that's okay. Not everyone's expected to know much about old lanterns. And, uh, you know, there's only a so, you know, there's only so many people that really do know about these things. And I really didn't know much about them uh, until uh, a couple of years ago. So, I mean, I knew that I liked them and I collected. I knew what Dietz was. I didn't really know much of the other brands or the other makes um, and until, you know, I really got back into the hobby and I started learning more. Uh, anyhow, this thing's cool. I paid not, next to nothing for it. I, it was a very low bid, not a lot of competition. Uh, people that were looking for little wizards probably found it and says that's not a little wizard and they moved on. I like these better. I like the little wizard. It's a great lantern. I have one from the 20s and it's a great piece. Um, it's the first one I ever really got. I have a 40s streamlined one, but anyhow, this is a, a handsome little lantern made by Embury and um, it's just cool. And this thing is dirty, but it has good bones. And it's going to clean up great. I sold one very similar to it to Mr. Steve Young, a good friend of mine. And um, it was much cleaner. It was, it was restored, however unfired, because it had um, a small little pinhole leak in the wall of the fount right below the fill cap. And um, I, I, I discovered that leak when I went to go fire it. And I was like, ooh, well, that's great. I could have fixed it very easily. It was not a major deal. Um, but, you know, I kind of like cleaning them up. I like, I like the results. Because this thing wasn't exactly like this. It was not nearly as bad. But it, it did have some rust, and I cleaned it up. And I like the way it came out. So I, I enjoy doing the work myself and enjoying the process of bringing a lantern back that's been forgotten and neglected. And then that moment when you relight it and it's, and it's burning, that's, that's a sense of accomplishment. It's not that you know, major. It's not hard to get these going as long as everything's intact. But it is nice, and I enjoy that. It's part of the enjoyment I get out of these things, besides just burning them late at night while I watch TV uh, or go camping or whatever. So, this thing is just a solid little hot, uh, cold blast, and it shouldn't take much to clean up. So yeah, I'm going to spray it all down with WD-40, let that sit and soak and fester and start loosening things up and then uh, hit it with the uh, Brillo, Brillo pad or the wire brush or whatever and uh, see where it goes from there. Okay, everybody, uh, I'll be making another video. I should be completing the previous project, which you might remember was the Norley Diamond um, from the Shapely uh, Hardware Company uh, copper uh, lantern, well, copper fountain cold blast and um, that thing is coming along I should be able to finish it today uh, with some luck and I'll make another video when that's done so stay tuned everybody take care and we'll see you guys again very soon bye bye